February 7, 1613, Michael Romanov, founder of the Romanov dynasty, became Tsar of Russia. The Romanov dynasty would rule over Russia until the Russian Revolution of 1917. 1812, Charles Dickens, the most popular English novelist of the Victorian era and one of the most popular of all time, is born Charles John Huffam Dickens in Landport, Portsmouth, England. Creator of some literature's most memorable characters, his 1843 A Christmas Carol and his character Ebenezer Scrooge are as popular today as the day they were first introduced to the public. 1885, Sinclair Lewis was born, an American novelist and social critic who punctured national complacency with his broadly drawn, widely popular satiric novels and who in 1930 became the first American to win the Nobel Prize for Literature. 1940, the animated film Pinocchio had its world premiere and it became one of Disney's most beloved classics, known for its brilliant animation and compelling story. 1964. The British invasion began when the Beatles landed in New York City. Two days later, as Beatlemania storms America, their performance on the Ed Sullivan Show was watched by 73 million viewers. 1966. American comedian Chris Rock is born in Andrews, South Carolina. He became known for his stand-up routines and films. 2013, Mississippi became the last U.S. state to officially abolish slavery. It had ratified the 13th Amendment in 1995, but failed to submit the necessary paperwork. 2019, baseball player and manager Frank Robinson dies at the age of 82. Robinson became the first black manager in a Major League Baseball when he began managing the Indians in 1975. 2021, Sarah Thomas becomes the first woman to referee a Super Bowl in Tampa Bay, Florida, as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defeated the Kansas City Chiefs 31-9. Due to COVID restrictions at the time, this was also the lowest in-person attendance for a Super Bowl ever, with only 25,000 fans in the stands. These are just a few of the things that have happened today, February 7th in history. This has been Mr. Scott with Today in History. Thanks for watching.